What's up guys, today we're going to be going over the new brass attacks, which is the sidearm from the season pass and battlegrounds, and it is a two round burst just like the breach light was, which was one of my favorite sidearms of all time. And before we get into today's video, I'm a part of G Fuel's March Madness tournament. To keep this short, pretty much it's a tournament with 64 creators, every round half get eliminated, and if we can reach top two, we will get a Greg themed shaker cup. So this is our chance to get that shaker cup we've been wanting and the way we make it past round one is by using my code air which is going to be 30 percent off as long as we're still alive in the tournament anyways i'll give you guys a few more details at the end of the video so the brass attacks is trying to replace the breach light which was a two round burst kinetic sidearm from the season of the dawn and those weapons had demo on the left and then damage perks on the right so that led to a pretty interesting role on this and overall it was just one of my favorite sidearms in the entire game it felt the best i just love the two round burst but unfortunately, Season of Dawn was one of the seasons that already got sunset, and even after they revert sunsetting, these will still be capped at 1260 because of the fact that a lot of people probably deleted them thinking it was safe to do so, so they can't really go back on that change unless they add a new way to get them. But as of right now, this thing is no longer usable, which is where the Brass Attacks comes into play, which is also a two-round burst sidearm in the energy slot. Now looking at the perks in the left column, there's going to be three interesting ones I want to talk about. Feeding Frenzy, Rapid Hit, and also Surplus. So first with Feeding Frenzy, if you guys haven't used it recently, they updated it and made it harder to get the max reload speed. Pretty much it stacks just like Rampage all the way up to times 5 and you want to get the full reload speed buff at times 5 So it's not as good as it used to be, but still a pretty easy perk to get and maintain because you only need to get a kill every few seconds to keep the stack going. But the thing about this sidearm is its base stability is pretty bad which is where the next two perks will come into play first rapid hit will not only give you the max regular speed just like feeding frenzy where it will stack all the way up to times five it will also give you stability per stack the only thing about rapid hit on the sidearm is it's not too easy to chain the perk that often because you pretty much need to be getting those precision hits every second if you have even a tiny lapse of precision hits the stack will fall off and you have to do it again so it doesn't feel too good to be honest and that is where the last perk surplus comes in play this will not only give you the stability it will also give you the max reload speed and also handling but the trade-off is you pretty much need two plus abilities at all times so you can't really be spamming your ability so this will not work with you know a build where you're going to be using most of your abilities at all times but if you're a person that pretty much just uses their grenade or their dodge on hunter or something like that and you always have two of your abilities at most times you can definitely make this one work and I think it will be the better choice overall than Rapid Hit. You're concerned about stability, but overall all three perks are good choices. Feeding Frenzy is just the best all-around reload perk. Rapid Hit is good in theory, but it's just kind of hard to chain with this sidearm, which leads me to Surplus being the best if you're worried about stability. Then if we look in the right column, there's going to be all kinds of really interesting perks. Rampage, One for All, Dragonfly, Frenzy, and Wellspring. So just breaking those down, the first one, the most obvious one is going to be Rampage. 33% with times 3 pair that with rampage spec and as long as you get a kill every 4.5 seconds you'll keep the stack going all the way up to times 3 and is the most consistent damage perk in the game does exactly what you need nothing more nothing less but that also leads me to the other new perk frenzy on this one i'm not quite sure if i love frenzy or not the main draw of frenzy is you can proc it without having the weapon out and it'll also give you reload speed increase but with all the good left column perks being reload based I don't think you really need that reload speed of Frenzy, and the damage increase of Frenzy is only 20%, so it's a lot lower than the other two damage perks on this weapon. One of the reasons I love Frenzy on the SMG is because I pair it with the Salvo all the time, and whenever I pull out the SMG, I will have that damage perk ready to go instantly. But for something like this, I'm probably going to be using it with the Raid Slug or Sniper and like Lament or Eyes of Tomorrow or something like that. So whenever I'm using this sidearm, it'll probably be like the main weapon I'm using for Actor. So I don't really need something like Frenzy. So something like Rampage or even One for All makes a lot more sense. And as you guys know, One for All is pretty much my favorite PV damage perk. It's the second highest percent behind multi-kill clip. Pretty easy to proc in almost any situation. And overall, I just like it a lot more than Rampage. So that would be my go-to damage perk on this weapon overall. But the thing about these two round burst sidearms is they hit so strong without any damage perks that you can kind of get away with using something like Dragonfly. And if you pair that with Dragonfly spec, the explosions are huge. But for the same reason I wasn't quite on board with Rapid Hit, I'm not quite fully on board with Dragonfly on this weapon either. It's hard to guarantee those precision final blows. It'll make it hard to consistently proc Dragonfly. But at the same time, you can definitely make it work. And like I mentioned, most activities, you don't really need damage increase on two round bursts to kill most red bars. 
they can definitely make Dragonfly work or even Wellspring, which will give you energy back on kill to whatever abilities you're missing. And since this weapon is void and I'm a Warlock player, I wish it was Demo instead, but Wellspring is obviously pretty good if you're making ability builds. So overall, there's a decent amount of really good rules on this weapon. If you want just like the classic one that would just kind of be good everywhere, you can use Feeding Frenzy and Rampage. But you could also replace Rampage with One for All, and I think that'll be better for different situations. Another god roll could be Rapid Hit and Dragonfly. Both of those perks revolve around precision hits, so they kind of work together. I don't think it's like the best thing on a sidearm like this, but you can make it work. You could also get Feeding Frenzy and Wellspring, or even Rapid Hit and Wellspring. Then finally, Surplus Frenzy, Surplus One for All, Surplus Dragonfly, Surplus Rampage, if you want stability. So there's all kinds of really good rolls. It's pretty easy to get your hands on something that is pretty good on this weapon, because pretty much five out of the six perks on the right are all good. Then half of the perks on the left are also extremely good also. So no matter what you roll, it's probably going to be pretty good. So overall, is it the new Breach Light? Well, just given the fact that Breach Light is Sunset, I mean, I don't think we have a choice. It pretty much has to be the new Breach Light because it's pretty much the only two round burst in the game. But yeah, overall, it does have really good perks, so I think it does live up to what Breach Light was, but now in the energy slot as a void weapon. I will say that this one feels like it has worse stability overall, and that is why even on PC, I am using Surplus One for All as my like main one. So I definitely look out for that. It just doesn't feel as stable as the Breach Light, but this thing still hits that range just like the Breach Light did. These two round bursts have way more range than you would think and can kind of map. So yeah, I'm definitely a fan of this weapon. Definitely worth farming and hanging on to one. The rest of the video will just be some strike gameplay, but I'm gonna quickly go over the G Fuel Madness tournament. So as I mentioned, 64 craters are starting. Every round half will be eliminated. And I believe the first two rounds are both based off code usage. The first round ends on Friday, and as long as we're in the top 50% of the 64 craters, we'll move on to the second round. And as I mentioned, as long as we're in the tournament, our code will be 30% off. And you guys have been killing it with the support, and this is pretty much going to be our best chance to get a Greg-themed Shaker Cup. So we're going to push for that top two spot and try to make that happen. So make sure to go ahead and click the link in the comments description. It will automatically apply my discount code at checkout and either try out some new stuff or stock up on your favorites, whatever it is. And let's go get that Shaker Cup. Starting tomorrow on every video, I'll give you guys an update on how well we're doing and kind of let you guys know if we're gonna be making it through the next round or not. One other thing I wanna talk about real quick is I've seen some of your guys' feedback about it seeming like my code is always 30% off. And the way it pretty much works is I get date ranges of when it will be 30% off. And on the last day, I usually say, well, this is the final day because it is but sometimes they overlap pretty close to each other and it seems like the second one ends, the next one begins. So I'll definitely try to stay away from using like the term the final day or anything like that in the future because I get it and I can see how it feels like it's just one after the other after the other, especially since my code was just 30% off right before this also. So I'll definitely work on that in the future and I've heard your guys' feedback on that. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the video. Thanks for watching, catch you guys next time.